seeing gay is a lot more accepted. Correct me if I'm wrong. I remember in 2003 in Paris, gay is really accepted back there. But in Australia, some places it's not. So Fousey thumbs up for, for being a man and coming in the closet there. And Fousey says he had some issues with drugs, went to rehab recently, etc. Wasn't enjoying his life. So thumbs up there to Fousey for being transparent and clear. Now, the, the question I get asked a lot recently is with Fousey's dramatic weight loss transformation. People are saying, he looks like he's on steroids. What do you think, Duran Ryder? Well, a bit about my history of personal training since 1999. I was first uh, introduced to anabolic steroids in 1997 in my friend's kitchen. He had a bit of, uh, I think it was a little uh, stanazol amp. And he said, yeah, if we could put a bit of this in your Duran Ryder. Oh, not Duran Ryder, Harley back then. We'll get you fucking charging, man. I said, oh, no, no, I had no idea. I said, no. And now it's 2015, and shit's just fucking changed in the whole social media with Ziz and Jeff said and all these swolgers on the hot sauce just changing shit up. And the competition level now is just so high. If you're not on the hot sauce, you're pretty irrelevant, irrelevant pretty quick, aren't you? Unfortunately, for these 20, 20, you know, 20 to 30 year old age group, actually it's boosted down to 16. I reckon 16 to 25 year olds right now, due to social media, are using more gear than ever before in human history. And I know in Australia, since Ziz's death was publicised all over the fucking internet, people are like, wow, he's dead. He died from a heart attack, so his hematocrit was probably fucking 80 and he had a clot. Wow, he's dead. He's 21, he's dead. But wow, he looks really good. <laughs> Let's do steroids. That's literally what fucking happened in Australia. Steroids now are the number one injected drug in Australia. More than heroin. You know what I mean? That's what we're talking about in Australia, man. So it's, it's just the culture, the gym culture, man. It's like you, you, the goal is to get a fucking incredible body transformation aesthetics. <laughs> like if you want that, then that's what you got to do. Now, I'm not saying people are bad. I've done steroids myself. You go back a few, few more videos back then. It is... So tempting, so incredibly powerfully effective. I mean, if I was into the gym more than I am cycling, I'd definitely be on the gear. Because it's just the results are just fucking like, they're just too easy, man. You just look at weights and you fucking, you start pinging out. So anyone out there who says they're natty, then they're just full of shit. Now, I like Fusi because he's very transparent. So I don't watch all his videos. I'm not sure if he's, what he's taking. But, but I'm just not saying he is or he isn't. I'm just saying... This has been my experience, myself taking anabolic steroids. Incredibly powerful stuff. And one of his trainers is that Martin guy. Obviously, putting a bit of hot sauce on that pizza <laughs> a few days a week, or every day, or every other day, EOD. So it's just, there's the culture, man. It's just, I don't understand the people in the world today. They're like, they ask people, do you like break the law? <laughs> what the fuck is someone going to say? Yeah, I break the law every day by fucking smuggling steroids and this is where I live, come and arrest me, fucking LAPD or whatever. <laughs> like, are you serious? You think someone's going to fucking tell you the truth when they could go risk going to jail? 1990 uh, Steroids Act, class, uh, class 3 drug in the US way or whatever. Here in Thailand, I can go, I could leave this camera right now, run down to local hospital, sit in a queue for 10 minutes, come back with a fucking bag of swag. A bag of swag and just bring it back to Australia and fucking dish it out or send it back to Australia shotgun parcel and just make hella cash and that's what's going on so the gear is easy to get it's just who do you know it's who do you know and if you're in the scene and you got money you got friends pretty quickly you got friends real quick if you got money and you're in the gym everyone's your best fucking buddy if you ain't got this is just like the rave party scene if you got fucking cash Hey man, want some Eckies? We've got some Colombian shit. What are you up? No money, no honey, no money, no friends. That's the gym scene, that's the rave scene. That's pretty much the world we fucking live in, unfortunately. But this is the culture we live in. The gym scene is called the aesthetic scene. It's not the health scene. It's about getting your levels up right up so you have more protein synthesis, more nitrogen retention, bigger blood volume, get bigger pumps, get bigger cuts, etc. So it is just an unrealistic world, man. But that's... Once you un most people people often say to me, Do not you have no experience. You're the skinny cyclist guy, like you don't know shit. And I'll tell you what, you don't know shit. Cause you fucking think that what I'm saying is wrong, is false or whatever. But you wouldn't have a fucking clue because you've never been there. You never stood in my shoes. You never hanged with the people I've hanged with. Some of the top coaches on the planet. And you just wouldn't have a clue.
but you're so naive and gullible, you believe the gladiators on TV or the internet, whatever. But that's the reality. This is where we live in that 27,000 kids under age five today will die because they don't have enough money to buy some rice, bananas, and water. So if you think that people won't take gear to get an edge up in this cutthroat fucking world where we let kids starve, you and I let kids starve every day in Asia, Africa, around the world, even in Australia, there's kids in the street getting raped by pedos and that. We don't know fuck all about it. Why is that? Because we're a fucked up species, us humans. So if you think that humans wouldn't take little shortcuts here and there to manipulate aesthetics to get a little bit more edge on someone else, then you're fucking delusional. Now I want to go back and watch some Fousey pranks because I think he's a funny cunt. Now, but what I would like for Fousey is for him to focus on his health because what he's doing right now is not going to be sustainable at all. And he knows it. He knows it. And as a, a trainer myself for the last 16 years, I know it. And Fousey's pace right now, unsustainable. Unsustainable. So my tip for Fousey would be high carb, low fat vegan, full natty bra. Bro, you won't have a weight problem if you're doing our lifestyle long term. You will not have a weight, you'll have an underweight problem long term versus an overweight problem. Because what you're doing now, bro, it ain't sustainable, man. So I wanna see your funny fucking pranks. I wanna see your, your cat charisma extend a long period of time on the internet. I don't wanna see you burn out. I don't, I don't wanna see you go the way of Ziz who unfortunately passed when he was 21. So be careful.